Let's look at some food labels. I know you probably don't read nutrition facts on the back very often, but you might be surprised by some of the things you find in the foods we eat. So I just like to point a few common foods out so you have a good idea of what you're putting in your bodies. And it also ties in well with what we're learning. So let's start over on this side. We've got Sprite, root beer, and marshmallows. And if you look carefully, it looks like they're pretty much just pure sugar. In fact, if you look at a 12 ounce serving of Sprite, there's actually 38 grams of sugar in it. So that's, imagine a gram is about a paper clip. That's a lot of paper clips of sugar and your body can't always store that. Then you've got root beer, which is even more. And the sad part is a lot of this is just high fructose corn syrup that they use for sugar. So it's a very processed form. And then you're seeing some gelatin and sugars in the marshmallows. So the protein would be from the gelatin, which is animal bone. Then over here, we've got peas. And you'll notice this is canned peas. This is frozen peas. Sorry, it's a little wrinkly there. But if you look at the sodium in it, which would be the salt, there's tons more sodium in the canned peas because they have to be preserved that way. But when you freeze something, it doesn't have to have as much. If we look at the fat and sodium in potato chips, you got about 10 grams of fat for a little bag of potato chips and 170 milligrams of sodium. Cereal has quite a variety of things in it. It's got some sugar, some proteins, some fats, a pretty good amount. It's got some fiber in it. And although you can't digest fiber because it comes from cellulose, which is a type of starch in plants, it's actually something that you can um, still use as roughage to scrub the insides of your intestines, essentially, which is a good thing because you don't want stuff getting stuck in there and forming ulcers or something. Then we've got rice, which doesn't really have a whole lot of anything in it besides some carbs, so a little bit of fiber, but you'd be surprised. People that are vegetarian get asked, where do you get your protein? But look at that, three grams of protein in rice, two grams of protein in cereal, and let's look at the big winner, oatmeal, five grams of protein in a serving of oatmeal. That's a whopping healthy meal right there. We should all be eating more of that. Then you've got your pasta, same idea. We've got seven grams of protein in a serving of pasta. Now, obviously some of these carbs, if you don't use all of them, then they might get stored as fat. So you have to be careful about how many carbs you're taking in, um, but they are a quick source of energy and they've got some protein in it as well. Ramen has protein, but it also has quite a bit of fat and sodium in it. So that's something you got to look out for. And there's some other chemicals that make it kind of addicting. Uh, ranch dressing, one of the worst things that I've ever seen. Sorry, that's hard to read, but there's 14 grams of fat in two tablespoons of ranch dressing. And there's actually a little bit of sugar in it, but it's mostly just pure fat, which really surprised me. And then you've got granola bar. There is some fat and some sugars and some protein, so kind of a balance there. Um, but I would say be careful about how many sugars you're intaking with that. And then wanted to do one last little thing here. One slice of cheese pizza, 10 grams of fat, or 18 if it's a meat lover's. And then you've got your wings over here, five grams of fat for one wing. Um, it's got a decent amount of sodium in it. The boneless ones are a little bit more so. And then you'd be surprised how much sodium is in a lot of the different sauces that you dip these things in. So there's a lot of hidden calories that you're intaking. So you want to make sure they're quality calories that you're eating. So overall, quite a variety of things we're getting in our diet. The idea is to get as many vitamins and minerals as possible, but you want to look out for some of those hidden ingredients that might not be quality nutrition for your body. But overall, all living things have a variety of the macromolecules in them, and I hope this information is helpful for you.